Hello everyone, this is Kim Quady with KimPlaysWithPaper.com. I'm a Stampin' Up! demonstrator in Mesa, Arizona, and I love to show you what I've been working on in my craft room. And let me tell you, tomorrow, Wednesday, May 1st, is an exciting day. And why, you ask? Because Stampin' Up! is releasing its brand new annual catalog. So this lovely catalog, I hope you have one in your hands, goes live and you can begin ordering from it beginning tomorrow, May 1st. So um, in anticipation of that, I have a fun project using a fun new bundle from this 2024 2025 annual catalog. It's a bundle that um, demonstrators got to play with during Stampin' Up's on stage gathering in Houston. And when I got home, I continued playing with it. Um, some I made some cards that went in catalog packets for my customers. And um, when I pop you down, I'll share why I love this set so much and show you some card samples, make a card and show you some samples um, of the dies, what the dies, the coordinating dies look like. So let me pop you down to my workspace and we'll get started on the project today. All right, here's that cover of the 2024-2025 annual catalog. Um, until it goes live, I can't show you what's inside, but very, very soon. So today I'm going to be playing with the spotlight on nature. I am spotlighting spotlight on nature. And the reason I love this set so much is because it's tulips. I just absolutely love tulips. They're kind of short lived in um, Minnesota, Arizona. We don't really even see any. I haven't tried. I know that one year in Minnesota, I planted a bunch of tulip bulbs and I don't think I had any tulips come up because I think the squirrels ended up eating all my bulbs. So that was a problem. But um, it does have some floral images, a butterfly, a friend, and a thank you. So I've been using the tulip. I'll show you those shortly. What I do want to show you are the coordinating dies. They're called the Spotlight on Nature dies. And there are 12 dies. And I don't know if you can... So here's the largest circle. It's kind of a stitching along um, the outside and they come in that comes in four different sizes um, if you can see those slight stitches there then there are four more that have this unique uh i don't know it's like a little rectangle with a dot so there are the four sizes um on this one as well. So those are super fun, very decorative, lots of different working sizes. I honestly haven't tried um, doing a lot of layering with them yet. I've just been using them for my images. And then lastly, we have um, the circle with some flower borders. So we have four of those uh, as well. Um, so the Spotlight on Nature and the Spotlight on Nature dies. Um, a great, good bundle to start with. So there's that. Um, if you need um, additional details, be sure to look at my blog at KimPlaysWithPaper.com. But let me show you um, some of the card samples. So we did play with this, like I said, it on stage. So here's one card sample using both the greenery and the butterfly, some background stamping on that card, using some of the new in colors as well. Uh, a little bit of water coloring here. Dear friend. More um, more in colors, another dear friend. And this is now what I've put together. Uh, this is the Petunia Pop. I want to call it Pop and Petunia. It's one of the brand new 2024, 20, 2026 Stampin' Up! in colors. Every year we get um, a new set of colors that keep our color palette fresh and vibrant. And they're always um, keeping uh, Stampin' Up! on trend. Um, so these will be around for two years, and this is Petunia Pops, so I'm using a little bit 
of the paper stack designer series paper the glimmer paper and um, if you notice this paper here it's our brand new basic beige and i use the stamp and blends um, to color that here's a, another a little version of that card same designer series paper um, when the one thing I love the most about Stampin' Up! is all of the coordinating products. You see the cardstock, you see the designer series paper, the blends, the ribbon, the ink, and the gems. They all coordinate. Uh, and then here's a, a fun card that I put together. Um, one of the most fun things about tulips is when you see them, I, I'm not lucky enough to been over to go overseas and see flower bed upon flower bed but these this was kind of my interpretation i'm daffodil delight and fresh freesia basic beige and then um, what i i did use a different coloring technique i stamped the flowers with stays on ink which is our permanent ink i used the watercolor pencils and then the blender pens to um blend that color so you can see the definite difference which kind of a look you're looking for. This is more of our watercolor look and this is more of a brilliant and that's the Stampin' Blends. And I'm going to be using those today. So I did make three cards in three different colors. So this one does use, there's our Petunia Pop, our Designer Series Paper, the Glimmer Paper, uh, the one of the dies from the Spotlight on Nature dies, the Tulips, the Coordinating Ribbon, and the Gems. And then on the inside, I um, stamped some of those tulips. I did, I tried the other color. This is pretty in pink. Again, um, all the coordinating products that you can use to create this card along with that, that brand new um, basic beige with um, the spotlight on nature dyes. And then lastly, the uh, peach pie version. So which one is your favorite? I can't decide between these three. I love them all. Um, and they're just so very easy to make. And so we're going to make one of those today. I do have a Petunia Pop card base. This is eight and a half by five and a half. Scored at four and a quarter and, uh, and folded. Use a little bone folder to give that a good crease. I have my basic beige, five and a quarter by four. This uh, circle from the Spotlight on Nature dies. And that one measures about three and a half in diameter. Then the uh, paper stack, the Petunia Pop, five and a quarter by three quarter inches. And then finally, the little glimmer is, um, Oh, five and a quarter by about a quarter. So that should that should work. So let's go ahead and put this together. Um, I just put some adhesive on the back of that designer series paper piece. Um, I'm going to get it as straight as I can on the edge here. Perfect. And then I'll get put, have some glue dots and put a couple of glue dots on the back side of this glimmer paper. One on the top, one on the bottom, and one in the middle. And just snuggle that up next door to that. And then we're basically all ready to go. I think what I want to do, though, is um, stamp the little thank you in our Petunia Pop in the bottom right hand corner before I actually adhere it to the card. So let's go ahead and do that. Just a tap, tap, tap on that really fresh ink pad. And I always like to try one on the grid paper to make sure that I have the right amount of ink and that it looks good and it's fairly straight. So just a little tap, tap, tap down here in that corner. So very pretty. All right. We'll use a little bit of adhesive to put that, adhere that to the front of our Petunia Pop card base. And 
And here we go, right on the front as such. All right, then we need to do a little bit of stamping on our circle. I am going to be using the uh, Memento ink. That's what we use when we're going to be using our stamp and blends. Um, so I will, and when the stamp's a little larger like this, I try to um, stamp from above so I can move the ink pad around on the stamp to get the coverage that I need. And of course, the whole flower is not going to fit on here, so I'm just going to uh, frame that in that little piece right here. And then we'll get our stamp and blends out. And I did not color one ahead, so I'm just going to color this while um, while I talk. Uh, this is the light old olive. And again, just a reminder, you do want to use the Memento ink when you are using your Stampin' Blends. The Stampin' Blends come in a light and a dark, and um, when you see me use the Petunia Pop, I'll show you um, some blending technique, but right now I am just coloring. Um, you can color, you can blend. I don't, uh, I, um, they're very easy to use. I really feel successful when I am using these. Um, so I'm just gonna do, you work in small sections, so I'm gonna do, put a little bit of dark in that flower. I don't know shading, so I just use Stampin' Up's uh, stamp as a guideline. And then I'm gonna come in with my light and I'm just gonna work that ink into uh, my flower. Um, and just get that all colored in. Just so fun to use. Also, you can note that I'm using this on, um, on my grid paper. You do want to protect your work surface because these do bleed. So you, if you have a nice work surface that you don't want stained with ink, you'll want to use that. I'll pick this up here and show you. Um, so that's how that is in the back. So now I'm gonna work on my big tulip and again, just lay down some dark. I don't have any scientific method. Um, I just enjoy, enjoy coloring and enjoy seeing um, these flowers, uh, the tulips come to life. It's, I grew up in North Dakota and I always loved spring because the tulips would all would all pop and I do miss that. So I thought, oh, I wonder if what would happen if I actually planted some here in Arizona. I'd have to probably do some reading. Maybe they wouldn't survive, but at least the squirrel it won't get them here. Maybe something else would, but not a squirrel. Alrighty. Okay, now I'm going to use some um, dimensionals to put this on the back of my to put the dimensionals on the back of my colored flower piece and pop it up on my card front. And I can put that kind of wherever I like. Um, we need some ribbon. So this is the Petunia Pop bordered ribbon. There's one for each in color. So, um, as a demonstrator, I was able to, let's tie a bow. Some of them I was just tying a knot. I was able to pre-order some of these in color products and I love to take advantage of that. My biggest motivator is FOMO. I am always, I don't wanna miss out. It's so much fun. Everything's so fun. Um, and if you feel the same way, talk to me about becoming a demonstrator there's a great join special that starts May 1st that um, helps you grab these in colors. It's one of the best offers we've had for product in a long time. And I'm going to grab so, a glue dot, put it on the back of that knot and position it on my card, trim off the excess there, poke that little guy out. Um, I do want to clean off my stamp. There's my chamois and 
get that stamp cleaned off. I also used the stays on on here and didn't use the stays on cleaner, so it will be fine. Um, I know that when I see that my stamps have ink on them, I know at least that they are loved and used. That's most important. All right, again, I'm gonna ink from the top with my Petunia Pop. What I'm doing is getting it ready to stamp in the corner for the inside of my card. You could also uh, do the envelope if you so choose. I'm gonna leave, leave that to dry just a sec. Because we're going to need some jewels and I left them at the other side of the table. I've been working on all kinds of different card samples. I hope you're liking this one. Again, if you need a refresher on the measurements, uh, check with KimPlaysWithPaper.com on my blog. I'm happy to answer any questions, help you place an order. There we go. And then we do need the jewels. And you can tell I've used, I've have two packages and um, I'm going to use the Petunia Pop ones here. A big one and grab that little guy and why not a big one and put it right there so there we have it using the spotlight on nature stamp set from stampin ups brand new annual catalog available for purchase may 1st um, along with the spotlight uh, nature dies. So I hope, I hope you love my tulips. I love my tulips. I want to try them in every color. Uh, but if you have any questions, please let me know. Thanks so much for watching everyone. Love, um, love all your comments and likes and loves. And until next time, happy stamping. Bye-bye.